Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create Brevo contacts from Facebook lead ads. So my objective is that, that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead or a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a contact should be created in my Brevo account. For that, we need to create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Brevo with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two concepts, that is trigger and action. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads and my action application is going to be Brevo. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Brevo contacts from Facebook lead ads. So my objective is that, that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a contact should be created in my Brevo account as well. For that, we need to create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Brevo with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After that, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five functions of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then on a new tab, you can see the Pabli Connect dashboard is going to open. In order to start an automation process, we need to create a workflow. For that, you have to click on the top right corner button that is right over here that says Create Workflow. I am going to click on it. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name. So I am going to give a name to my workflow as Add Facebook Lead Ads Leads to Brevo as Contact. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. If you want, you can give a name to your workflow as per your requirement. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I have created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account, from which I am going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, you have to click on this arrow right over here. As you can see, these are the folders that I have created in my Pabli Connect account, from which I am going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. I want to save this workflow in Facebook Lead Arts Automation, that is this folder I have created. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting a folder, we are going to click on Create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of Add Facebook Lead Ads Leads to Brevo as Contacts and there are two windows in front of you. One says Trigger, another says Action. Trigger and Action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here Trigger says when this happens and Action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we are going to set up a trigger step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. It is asking for us to choose our trigger application. In the introduction, I have already told you that trigger application is going to be Facebook Lead Ads. So I'm going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads. And now our trigger event is going to be new lead instant. We have selected our trigger event as new lead instant so that every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly, public Connect is going to capture the response. After that, we're going to click on connect in order to connect Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you in which you have to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After that, we're going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. As you can see that we fully authorized Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After that, it is asking for us to select a page. So in my Facebook account, I have created a page to promote my Facebook lead ads in the name of InnovaTech. And over here in the Pabli Connect, we're going to select our page as InnovaTech as well. Because with the help of this page, I will be running my Facebook lead ads. So next it is asking for us to select the lead gen form. So I've created a lead gen form in the name of lead ads form as you can see right over here. If you want to learn how to create your own lead gen form, then you can check out our YouTube channel. So over here in the place of lead gen form, I'm going to select it as lead ads form. After selecting the page and the lead gen form, we're going to click on save and send test request. As you can see right over here, it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a test lead so that I'm going to check whether public unit is going to capture the response of the test lead or not. For that, what we have to do is we have to open the lead ads testing tool. As you can see, this lead ads testing tool. With the help of this tool, we are going to generate a test lead. If you want to learn how to have the access of this page, then you can check out our YouTube channel. Firstly, it is asking for us to select a page. So for the page, I'm going to select it as InnovaTech. And for the form, I'm going to select it as lead ads form. After that, I'm going to click on preview form. 
So as you can see, this is the form that I've created. It is asking for the first name, last name, email and the phone number. So we're going to fill in all the details. Firstly, for the first name, I'm going to write it as test. For the last name as account 753. For the email as test account 753.pablitudes.com. After that, it is asking for the phone number. So I'm going to enter a dummy mobile number. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on next and then on submit to submit the form. As you can see right over here, it says a test lead has been sent. So now I'm going to open my Pabli Connect account and I'm going to check whether the lead that we have generated right now with the help of the lead ad testing tool is captured by Pabli Connect or not. For that, I'm going to open my Pabli Connect. I'm going to scroll down. And yes, over here, you can see a response is captured in our Pabli Connect. For the first name, it says test. Last name as account 753. Email as test account 753 at the rate pablitudes.com. For the phone number, a dummy mobile number and all the other details. So this means that we fully connected Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After setting up our trigger step, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our action step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. It is asking for us to choose our action application. Our action application is going to be Brevo because we want that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a contact should be created in my Brevo account. So for the action application, we are going to select it as Brevo. I'm going to select Brevo. After that, it is asking for us to select our action event. And our action event is going to be create or update contact. As you want to create a contact whenever a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads. So that is why we are selecting our action event as create or update contact. After that, we are going to click on connect in order to connect, probably connect with Brevo. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you on which you have to click on add new connection. After that, it is asking for the domain and the API key. Over here, you can see a domain is already mentioned. So I'm, and this is a fixed domain. So I'm not going to do anything with this domain right over here. It is asking for the API key. So from where are we going to find the API key? For that, we have to follow the steps which is given right here below. We have to open the Brevo account. This is my Brevo account right over here. Then over here on the top right corner, you can see it says profile. I'm going to open it. After that, we're going to click on SMTP and API. I'm going to click on it. Then over here, you can see it says SM, SMTP and API keys. So I'm going to select API keys right over here. Then we have to generate a new API key by clicking on this top right corner button. I'm going to click on it. It is asking for us to give a name to a new API key. So I'm going to give a name to my new API key as test1234. So this is the name that I want to give to my new API key. After that, I'm going to click on generate in order to generate a new API key. As you can see that API key is generated. I'm going to copy this API key from here. And I'm going to paste the API key right over here. After that, I'm going to click on save. As you can see that we fully connected Brevo with Pabli Connect. It is asking for the email first. So for the email, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert the data from, from our previous step response. For that, we have to click on this field right over here. As you can see, this is the previous step of our automation process. That is Facebook lead ads new lead instant. I'm going to click on this arrow right over here. And this was the response that was captured in our previous step. As you want the data for the email, I'm going to map the data for the email. So as I mapped the data right over here, the data has become dynamic. That means every time a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here will be updated. After that, it is asking for do you want to use email blacklisted? I'm going to select it as false. It is asking for do you want to use SMS blacklisted? I'm going to select it as false as well. Then it is asking for the list right over here. In my Brevo account, I have created a list in the name of Facebook leads contact. So as you can see, this is the list that I've created. And as I want that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a contact should be created in this list right over here. So in the place of this list, I'm going to select it as Facebook leads contacts. After that, it is asking for all these details like update enabled and SMTP blacklist sender. I'm going to skip these fields right over here. Next, it is asking for the last names. For the last name, I'm going to map the data again. Click right over here. Click on this arrow right over here. As you want the data for the last name, I'm going to map the data for the last name. Next, it is asking for the first name. I'm going to map the data again. Click over here. As you want the data for the first name, I'm going to map the data. After first name, it is asking for all these details. I'm going to skip all these parts because I don't require these fields. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. 
Over here, you can see our response is received and we have received an ID right over here. So this is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my Brevo account and I'm going to check whether a new contact is created or not. For that, I'm going to open my Brevo account. I'm going to refresh the page. And yes, as you can see right over here, a new contact is added in my Brevo account. For the name, it says test account 753. And this is the contact right over here. I'm going to open the contact. It has the email as test account 753 at the rate So this means that we fully created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So now for all of you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate another test lead and I'm going to check whether a new contact is added in my Bravo account or not. For that, I'm going to open the lead ad testing tool. As you can see, this is the lead ad testing tool. With the help of this tool, we are going to generate a test lead. Over here, you can see it says you can create one lead per form. You need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So as I have already created a lead with the help of this form. I have to delete that existing lead. For that, you have to click on delete lead right over here. As you can see over here, it says your lead has been deleted. Now I'm going to refresh the page. It is very important to first delete the lead and then refresh the page because if you're not going to do that, you will not be able to generate another test lead with the help of this form because you can only create one lead per form. Firstly, it is asking for us to select a page. For the page, I'm going to select it as InnovaTech. For the form, I'm going to select it as Lead Ads Form. After that, I'm going to click on Preview Form. So this is the form that I've created and it is asking for the first name, last name, email and the phone number. So I'm going to fill in all the details. So as you can see, I've completed filling all the details for the first name as demo, last name as user123, email as demo user123 at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on next and then on submit to submit the form. As you can see right over here, it says your test lead has been sent. So now I'm going to open my Brevo account and I'm going to check whether a new contact is added in my Brevo account or not. For that, I'm going to open my Brevo account. So this is my Brevo account. I'm going to refresh the page. As you can see right over here, a new contact is added in my Brevo account for the name as demo user 123. I'm going to open the contact. Over here, the email says demouser123 at the rate pablitudes.com. So this means that we successfully created an automation between Facebook lead ads and Brevo with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I wanted that that as a business owner, whenever a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a contact should be created in my Brevo account. For that, we've created an automation between Facebook lead ads and Brevo with the help of Pabli Connect. And as I've already told you, this is how we create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Brevo with the help of Pabli Connect. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. So not just with these applications, you can automate more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any questions regarding the Pabli Connect pricing, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.